Hello everyone, I'm Great Look. thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 29 of Factorio with Angels and Bob's Mods, where we are working on making some sulfur, and we basically just extended our sulfuric wastewater all the way up next to the bus, and that is the idea with everything we will need, because I do want to produce as much as possible up here. Especially anything that requires some solids or output solids. So we have the possibility of putting it or getting it from the bus. Uh, and for this, we will be outputting the sulfur, which we need for science. So the plan is to put that right here, I guess. Just want to have a look if... This requires as much of these. How do I see the inputs, the actual inputs? Eh. Where do I change the number? Oh, here. Yeah. Let's just go pretend. We only need half as much. There's just wondering if we should be merging the belts or anything like that. Hey. So how come it says here that it takes in coal? Oh, this is because we have it in this thing. That's better. Okay. If we need just one of these per second, Probably with the possibility to scale it up though. But one per second would then be one of these per second, one of these per second. Anything of these can be mixed. As we would be able to make with a yellow belt seven and a half per second with half a belt of this and half a belt of this. Then of course this would be a bottleneck, but yeah, we're never going to make seven and a half signs per second with our current setup, I don't think. So, we will probably be machine lines or belts, but we will output the sulfur onto this belt. Maybe we should have a look if we need the sulfur for anything else. Ingredient in, science back. Nickel carbonyl. Well, that's far in the future, I hope. Sulfur dioxide gas, we already have that. Explosives, we might need those at some point, but I don't think we will before we get to robots and there's not a problem. So we don't need the sulfur on the bus at least. What we do need is some hydro plants to make it, I think. At least it says it's in hydro plant, so let's trust that for now. This thing. Now we are outputting two liquids here. Mineralized water and purified water. I guess we're putting those back onto the fluid bus, so yeah. That's at least the idea for now. Good, so this is our build for it. If we need, what is it, half of these per second? Right. Half a sulfur. 
per second, because we get two science packs for each sulfur. Then we need to figure out how much we need here. We get one per second with one machine. <laughs> okay, so this produces more than we need for now. We can scale it up though. But for now, let's just get it connected and running, hopefully. And let's get some more brick down, so I hate running slowly. We could, of course, utilize our car. Now, don't ask me why I decided to run this pipe all the way above ground and then do it underground up here, because I don't know the answer, but this is how it will be for now. We do need to figure out where we want the outputs though. But I guess we just make the pipes for now and then figure the rest out later. Leave that there, I guess. Actually, we should add in as well. We can always just store it if we want to. Actually, we do need to do something with it. But let's just see this run first, I guess. It is slowly getting the sulfuric wastewater it needs. Good. And we do have made four of those already. <coughs> Good to know. Well, now that we need more sulfuric wastewater, we shall find out later. For now, I think I want to go and find out where we can put these. Because just having these long belts actually provides some sort of storage. Also, now that I'm in my car, it seems really stupid that we don't have an underground pipe here. Because I can't pass it now. Most of this stuff is free here, as well as these nine pipes, okay. but I guess we just put it here. So mineralized and pure, whatever it's called, purified water. Okay. So just leave two spots, whoops. We will have to go and grab some more pipes, so let's do that and start from up top. And let's try and use some more underground pipe this time, I guess. So we can run those all the way down. Can we do this with the car? Or would it be better to use nanobots? I'm not sure.
Ah, ok. Voy a ir peor. Good, that's one. This is working quite nicely, so no regrets there. Shall we just do the same thing with the sulfuric waste board? We should be able to just drag this, right? Or maybe not. Nope. Oh, I think that's easier by hand. Oh, by foot, I mean. I really want to bring the car with me though. Guess we can just send it a bit ahead. Where's the cargo? All the way down here, okay. Repair the car, please. Thank you. Of course, we've cut the power down here. That will need to be turned back on. It's just that we will be burning some stuff then. Which is really unnecessary. But maybe it's not if we need that to keep this going. I've also been thinking that this thing with fluid burning for steam could be made a bit better if we just put a burner in before all of these and then just collect the steam in a pipe. And then only burn if we can't, or only flare stack it if we can't burn it and heat some steam. But that is for later, I guess. Maybe we should have some small tanks and just disable machines if we have enough in the tanks or if the tanks are full. Does that make sense? So if we just start from the latest thing here. If we have enough, lu enough lubricant, we stop producing it, because then we won't be burning. That seems to make sense to me at least. I guess we will need some pumps, unless we can hook up a valve with a inspector valve. That can go be connected to a wire. That's good. Let's try this. We don't have a wire, but... Oh, 
Oh, it can't be closed, I guess. Maybe we do need a pump. Converts fluids, that's weird. It seems like we do need pumps. We need engineers for that. Isn't it weird that you don't just have a valve that you can disable or close if some sort of circum condition says so? I don't know. But we shall use pumps. And the only thing I don't, only reason I don't want it just running is that the crude oil wheels will get slower and slower the more you use them. So. We don't want that. And I didn't really need all of that pipe. That's not what I got here for. I am here for the engine units. Which we're producing further up the bus. How are we doing on nanobots? Seems we're doing just fine. Engine units. Of course, I don't have the space. Eh, what to get rid of? Let's just put that into the trash. We also need some wires while we're here anyway, so... It wasn't for nothing we got here. Where is the... Pumps again? Wait, am I just being slow right now? Are valves not normally in here? Oh, no. Oh, okay, in here. Sorry, my bad. We will now make a new chest with angels machines that we don't need right now, I think. Okay, so wires or stuff for wires. Let's take that one. Let's get some rubber. And some... Well, I guess this should be it. I thought I put some insulated wire somewhere at some point, but I might just be wrong about that. This window is really big. Oh, I guess we can change that. Well, apparently it can't show I had the done row. That's fine. So, anything else while we're here? We might as well keep producing these. I guess taking 100 engines was a bit much. Look like it. It was the 50 I wanted to put in. 
I don't want to run around with more than a stack of the pumps anyway. Actually, let's just put in the rest. Come back, car. Let's try this. Honk. And then we need some... I guess we just use inline storage tanks. So what is a small storage tank? Is that just a 2x2 two two tank or something? Let's just use inlines. Because we need to measure how much of the output we have before we can shut down the pump. What am I doing again? Well, now we prevent this from running, but then we will just be burning this stuff. But maybe we can reduce all of them to not run. At any points. I'm not sure if that's easy. We should start all the way over at the first steps then. Right here. But we can't stop this if just any of these have or are overloaded a bit because we need the others. Eh. That's probably not easy to automate completely. So let's not worry too much about that. We do need to take care of the solid output that we get from these if they are running low. Or to keep them running basically. And I'm not sure what we really should be doing about it. We needed the other residuals for this stuff. No, we didn't need them yet. I think that was the problem. could stop these if all of its outputs were blocked, I guess. And maybe that is possible if we do this all the way down. How about that? Not enough methane, because not enough natural gas, because not enough raw gas, because we're not producing the crude oil fast enough. We could just add more oil refineries then. I did just throw those in a box slow. Also, we didn't actually wire this up. If... Fluids... Are they just in here? Somewhere. So, is this lubricant? It looks like lubricant. It's below 2000. Which it is, it is not.
But then also we could just not burn this. Oh dear. If this is the only way to get rid of this and it has another byproduct that we needed, like methane. And then we can't just stop this production because then we won't produce methane anymore or methanol or whatever it is. Methane. Right now we are burning the methane through, but that's not always true. Dang it. This will not be working then. I've never noticed that there's a red and a green wire on all of the power codes. So do the red wire always get attached to the right side? Yep. Okay. So we'll just keep producing stuff so we can burn it only being limited by how much oil we are processing really. But I guess that's an okay limit then. As long as we don't get too much of anything. Well, we're not really using any of the outputs from this other than the green one for the lubricant, which we're not using. So this will be backed up soon, I think. And at that point, we won't be producing the raw gas anymore. Which we need for everything else, almost. And then we won't be producing sulfuric wastewater anymore either. Which sucks. But I think we will have to come back and do something about that later. When we know more about what we... What sort of fluids we want and in what capacities. Oh. Yeah, that sounds about right. Or maybe we should take care of the lubricant lab right now, so this isn't stopped entirely. It's already slow because of the crude oil. Eh. Do you burn lubricant? Is there a right recipe for every... Apparently not for lubricant. Is this not the right recipe we get in here? I guess we'll just have to try. It is burning, good. So, overflow valve. Hmm. It would be nice with some non ugly pole, power poles here, but we shall have to live with that. This should mean that we are producing some sulfuric wastewater. We shouldn't really be putting anything in here. Can we pump it out of there again? I guess not. Hey, where's my car? Let's just go have a look at the Sulfur. Oops. Well, 
we are producing plenty of them. At least to start with. So that's two of our outputs done for the blue science. Then we need either sodium hydroxide or electronic circuit boards. I guess we'll just start with this. So how did we pin this again? With the pin. Okay. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.